what's up youtube it's your boy and i'm back with another video man and you already know what i need you to do hit the subscribe hit the like hit the notification bell because it does go a long way with helping out the channel if this is your first time welcome to hold my nuts podcast where we talk about everything semen retention and no fap if you stumbled across this channel, it's no accident. You're tired of the status quo. You're tired of releasing on your keyboards, your laptops, your desktops. You're in the right place. If you've been rocking with your boy already, you already know the love is real. So without further ado, let's get into this video, man. Why men struggle with heartbreak? It's simple. Because you're releasing. You're releasing. You're giving yourselves over to your sexual appetite you're releasing you're releasing you're releasing you're releasing and it's a, a wave of dopamine that you're addicted to now you don't have healthy dopamine levels guys here's the reason why you're dealing with heartbreak the main reason why you're dealing with heartbreak or why you struggle with dealing with heartbreak is because you build a life around women you build a life around a woman you build a you build your life around women instead of building a life that can include women there's a major difference when you build your life around a woman you're building your life around this idea this this person that's what you're dealing your life around not your purpose not your goals not your ambitions not what you are here to do you are building your life around a certain individual or you are building your life around women and you're just living that crazy lifestyle instead of building a life around your goals, your purpose. That's the reason why we struggle with heartbreak. Because when that woman leaves, everything that we are is embedded into that into that person everything that we've done we say oh man i did this i did that we put all our energies into this one person and when they leave everything comes crashing down i give you an example nba teams they they will build a team around a particular player who has a particular skill set they'll build their team around this player so they'll get rid of other pieces They'll go out and acquire other pieces. They'll give up draft picks. They'll give up, you know, big pieces of the team just to get the players that will accommodate this one talent. And when it works, it works. But when that player decides he doesn't want to play in this city anymore, he wants to go and experience something else. He wants to go to a new team. All of those pieces no longer work. Because the franchise built the team around one particular talent, one player. Guys, we are building our lives around women. We're building our lives around women. And then we wonder why we struggle so much when they leave. It's because all of our energy, time and efforts are embedded in this person. If we had been building a life that can include a woman, only a small piece of us is leaving. But the engine of who we are, our purpose, our goals, they're still going forward because those things are based off of our own identity, our own purpose, our own drive, motivations. That's why we're struggling with heartbreak. What is your purpose? What are you here to do build your life around that and the right person will gravitate to you you have to be a man that can't be knocked off of his horse if you believe in something then you have to rock with that because that's your superpower it doesn't matter if you're a nerd own it. it doesn't matter if you're a farmer it doesn't matter if you know you're a doctor lawyer professional athlete it doesn't matter if you own your own business or you know, whatever it is that you do, whatever you feel like you're supposed to do, whatever your goals are, you have to focus on those things. Because when you focus on those things, it's a world of difference. 
because that's what you're driving. That's what you're working towards. When you put all of your focus and attention on a woman, you're setting yourself up for failure. You are setting yourself up for failure. Do not put all of your energies on a woman. Bad things happen when you do that. We have numerous examples of men, mighty men, kings who have come to ruin because they have put their focus on women. They have taken their focus off of their goals and they have focused that same energy on a woman. Only for that woman to bring them down, only for that woman to bring them low. And then when it all hits the fan, where is that woman at? You're left to clean this mess up, get your life back on track, and she's out wherever doing whatever. Right? Stay focused on your goals, on your on your plans. Stay focused on that. Build a life around you. You're the only soul that lives in that body. You came into this world by yourself and you're going to leave it by yourself. So you better make sure you build a life surrounded by your purpose, your goals, your dreams, your aspirations. And the woman who's supposed to be there, she will come because she will admire what you're doing because the woman wants to lead her. But you can't leave if you're building a life around another person. You can't put any stock or value, any true stock or value in a person. Your stock and value has to be placed in God. I'm not saying you can't love a person. I'm not saying you can't care for a person. You guys understand what I'm saying. I'm saying you can't have no confidence in the flesh, yours or theirs. Your confidence has to be in God. So focus on your plan. Focus on God. And all of these things will be added to you. You just have to keep the focus. Listen. It's a <laughs> it's a it's, it's it's a tough time dealing with heartbreak when your life, your whole life you put into this one particular female. You put your goals aside to cater to her. You put your dreams aside decated to her sometimes these women will tell you not to do something because they're fearful you know you should do it but you won't do it because you're fearful well if i lose this job you know she's gonna be looking at me crazy and i don't know man she might leave you know what i'm saying i don't want to deal with that man so i ain't gonna take that chance but that other man who took that chance his money gonna go up His territory will be enlarged because he's not dealing with the spirit of fear. He's moving in his purpose. Whoever comes along for the ride and can stay on the train, then good for them. But he's not stopping that train. He's not jumping off of those tracks to cater to a female because, you know, in most cases, they're down a dozen. Again, guys, I'm speaking in general terms. The Bible says it's hard to find a virtuous woman. It's not something you're just going to go out there and find. You feel me? It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. So you best stay on your plan. You best stay in your lane. You best stay building a life surrounded by your dreams, goals, aspirations. Do not build a life around a woman. You are setting yourself up for disaster. You are building your house. You are putting your foundation on sinking sand. Build a life around you. You're the only one who lives in that body. You're the only soul who lives in that body. No one can share time with you in that body. Once you leave that thing, man, it's a wrap. It's over. Nighty night, night time. And you don't want to waste your life. You don't want to waste the time that God has given you as a man catering to a woman. This is not some, you know, forget women, dominate women. No. There just needs to be respect on both ends. She has to respect my role and I have to respect her role. 
Women are not less than in dignity and value. Just because we have different roles, different things to fulfill, doesn't make one greater than the other. They actually complement one another. Right? They complement one another. There's things that a man can do that a woman cannot. There's things that a woman can do that a man cannot do. And that's okay. That's totally fine. But you're not going to find that balance if you're putting all your time, effort, energy into a woman. Stop training yourselves to be submissive to women. You're shooting yourself in the foot by watching porn. You're shooting yourself in the foot by going to bars every weekend to find girls to have one night stands with. You're shooting yourself in the foot. If you got three or four girls, you're knocking down. You, you're giving in to the five, six different women, man. You're giving in to them. You're giving in to them because you desire the fulfillment of your sexual appetite. How can you be focused on your dreams, goals, aspirations? How can you go and do what it is you're supposed to do? You're making it harder for yourself to get through school. You're making it harder for yourself to build that business because you are so focused on releasing keyboards, laptops, desktops. You're just going to town. You're wasting precious time watching porn. You're just, I mean, come on, bro. And you're training yourself to be submissive to women. You're training yourself to be submissive to women when you partake in these things. You're rewarding women for bad behavior because you have, you don't have the ability to stand up for yourself. You, you can't say no. But the reason you can't say no is because you practice on a daily basis of saying yes. Yes, I'm going to watch that porn. Yes, I'm going to like all your pictures on Instagram. Yes, I'm going to, you know, um, buy you drinks at the bar, take you out, buy you dinner. Yes, 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 yes. How are you going to say no when subconsciously you're always saying yes to how the world tells you that you are opposed to approach and deal with women? You're going to find yourself saying yes in situations where you should be saying no. A man is supposed to follow his purpose. God has given you a purpose. You have to find it and you have to go do it. He's given you everything you need to be able to complete your task here. But if you're wasting your time following these vain things, it's going to be hard for you. It's going to be really, really difficult. And when that woman leaves you, you're going to be like, God, oh, what? Yeah. You're going to be crying. You're going to be like, man, I told you. You shouldn't have been doing all the other stuff you was doing. You should have stayed true to yourself. You should have stayed true to me. You should have, you should have stayed on your grind. You say, how do you do that? When you're focused on your dreams, goals, and aspirations, that's you loving her. Because you're, you're, you're making sure that. Everything is going the way it's supposed to be going according to your plan. If you're focusing on your plan, you're going to be able to provide. You're going to be able to provide. But when you get off of your path and you start wanting to be up under a woman all day, you're not going to be on your path. You can't you can't be up under a woman all day. You just can't. You have to go do things. You have to go do things. You have to go make money. You have to plan you have to strategize you have to put things together you have to go start that business you have to go learn how to invest you have to go quit that job to get a better one you have to you have to be focused on your goals where are you going if you're not and you're building your life around this woman you are going to fail miserably you're going to cry your eyes out you're going to cry your eyes out and again guys the subtle ways that you're killing yourself is you're giving in to your sexual appetite. You're practicing saying yes to your sexual appetite on a daily basis. Every time you watch porn, you're saying yes, 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 I submit to you. Every time you like an Instagram picture uh, of these Instagram models and you, you fall into lust, you're saying yes, yes, I submit to you. You are my master. You are my Lord. I bow down. I worship you. That's what you're saying. That's what you're doing. When you release your life source and you splatter it all over your TV screens, you are saying, yes, you are my God. You are my God so much so that I'm willing to release 
this precious seed that provides me with high levels of testosterone that harmonizes my emotions. The seed that gives me a strength and an aggression that I need to go out and accomplish my dreams and my goals. I worship you so much that I'm willing to release it on my keyboard, on my laptop, on my desktop, wherever. Dirty socks don't matter. I don't care because all I want to do is feel that pleasure for two to three seconds. If you're doing that, man, just know that you're on the path to destruction, man. Listen, guys. NBA basketball about to come on, man. So I'm about to jump off, man. Listen, this is Hold My Nuts podcast, man. <laughs> Retain that seed, baby. Retain that seed. I'm going to hit y'all up in the next one. Like this video. Subscribe, man. If you've been watching my videos, man, and you ain't subscribed yet, go ahead and give your boy a sub, man. Come on, man. It's a beautiful Sunday out there to give your boy a sub, man. Listen, I love y'all, man. I'm going to holler at y'all in the next video. Peace.